Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Woodstock, Georgia, it's time for Kid Biz Radio. Kid Biz Radio creates conversations about the power of entrepreneurship and the positive impact that journey can have on kids. For more information, go to kidbizexpo.com. Now, here's your hosts. Hi, welcome to Kid Biz Radio. I'm Layla. And I'm Austin. And today we have awesome guests with us in the studio. We have Katie with Bomb Babes and Jamie with Menagerie on Main. Hello, Katie and Jamie. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Thank you for having us. Oh, thanks for having us. Yeah. So can you tell us both a little bit about yourselves and your businesses? Um, okay, well, my name is Katie and I'm the owner of Bomb Babes. We are a gourmet cake bomb bakery. So we specialize in transforming classic desserts into your newest dessert obsession. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a cake pop without a stick and much more delicious. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. You sound amazing. And I'm Jamie. I own Menagerie on Main. It's a an art gallery that represents about 50 local artists in the area. And we have everything from paintings and photography to clay and jewelry and fiber arts. And we also do classes and workshop and events. And we recently added some local wine sales. So we're mm -hmm. kind of like yeah, a gathering spot, all things creative and local. So how did you guys both get started in your business? Did it just come from nowhere, an idea, or was it kind of something you've always had in mind? Um. Well, okay. For me, I, I've loved, I love cake pops. Like I've always loved cake pops. I think that cake pops are like the most delicious dessert ever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they are plus, pretty good. When you go to a birthday party, you don't want to grab like a whole bunch of slices of cake. And, no. Because everyone's like, what the heck? Why should you eat so much cake? <laughs> um, but if you have a, um, a cake pop, nobody knows no. how many you've eaten. You can yeah, just throw yeah. the stick away. Yeah. And they don't pay attention. Gone is the evidence. So. <laughs> Um, it kind of just stemmed from, from my love of cake pops, but then a desire to make them more delicious. Mm -hmm. So makes sense. And art has always been a part of my life. I grew up with an artist mother. I didn't pursue it as a career because I don't know if you've heard this, but a lot of times people, there's this starving artist reputation out there and, <laughs> and yeah, it's almost discouraged. Um, so I went other paths, but no matter what I did, I always found myself engaging with the creative and that became a focus and so midlife hit and i was presented with an opportunity to open a gallery and decided to do it yeah so on this journey uh what have you done that has helped you become as successful as you are today um a lot of patience <laughs> it yeah. does require lots of patience yeah Patience is a big thing. Um, and then also surrounding myself with people that support my dreams and ideas. And without the support of people in my life, it, I probably would be um, not working or having some sort of other awful job that I wouldn't want to have. Yeah, it is very <laughs> important. I mean, personally, I have my parents as my sponsors because <laughs> they are paying for the startup and I'll pay them back later. But it is yeah. needed. Mm -hmm. Yes, support is huge. Um, I think like the internal work you do on your mindset too. I mm -hmm. think um, really forcing yourself out of your comfort zone and accepting failure along the way and just yeah. knowing it's it's part of it. I think a lot of times we try to shy away from it or protect ourselves from it and getting over that has probably been the biggest thing that I've helped, yeah. helped me. Everybody mm -hmm. makes mistakes like Believing along in the way. yourself. Yeah. 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 Believing really truly and in leaning into yourself as yeah. like, you know. Oh, yeah. Believing that this will work one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to believe yeah, that. You have to believe that. <laughs> okay. So what do you define success as? For, for me, I think it's um, choice and pursuing something that I'm choosing to versus something I'm settling for or, um, you know, feel obligated to do. Yeah. Jamie, that's such a great point. Um, <laughs> I have to agree with that. Um, but also for me, it is, um, seeing people smile, like when they get desserts. I mean, I love, I love when people are just like happy and having a good time and like my desserts bring a smile to people's faces. Like everyone yeah. loves dessert. So I have a sweet tooth. I love my desserts. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I love that. <clears throat> yeah. So in the process of starting up said business, do you have any um, regrets that you have while starting it up or maybe uh, some mistakes you made along the way? Yeah, lots of mistakes along <laughs> the way. Um, I thought a lot about this. I wouldn't say I have regrets because I think the regrets 
teach you a lot. So if you don't have do. those things, <laughs> sorry, I, they do. I will say what I've learned to do and I wish I had done sooner was kind of was pause and listen to myself. I think early stages, you have a tendency to, or I did ask other people for feedback and input. And there's mm-hmm. this assumption that other people might know more than me. And um, sometimes when I chose things based on that, they didn't work out because it wasn't mm-hmm. coming from me. So it's that combination of pausing, listening to people, accepting input, but like not losing sight of yeah where I stand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I think for me, my only regret is that I didn't start sooner. Yeah. <laughs> we get a lot of those. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but otherwise, you know, I've made a lot of mistakes along the way. And but it's taught me, like Jamie said, is it's taught me as well to just kind of learn from those mistakes and move forward. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I just wish I would have started sooner. And it teaches you to not be afraid of mistakes. Like now it's like, yeah. okay, I'm going to make mistakes now yeah. from here on out. And I'm yeah. just going to keep going. It's yeah. not so scary. Yeah. It's definitely a test of uh, the perfectionist in me. You yeah, know? I feel that <laughs> in my soul. Yeah, like you can't you you can't be a perfectionist. You just have to mm-hmm. just do. And- Sometimes you got to wing it. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have any advice for any aspiring entrepreneurs to help prevent some of the mistakes that you made? Um, don't Don't be fearful about what you can provide um don't be afraid to start don't be afraid to try something new don't be afraid to throw away an idea that you thought was going to be a really great and Mm -hmm. turns out not so great and um i think just trust yourself to make the right decisions and they're not always going to be right but there'll be a decision and you'll Mm -hmm. learn from it so yeah yeah i think realizing like Check in with yourself. How much do you want it? And then when the things come against you, you get to decide, is this a test that uh, that's not going to stop me or mm-hmm. am I reevaluating the direction? But I think it goes back to, yeah, trusting yourself and staying committed to what it is that you want to see mm-hmm. happen. So we've talked a lot about the past and the present. Um, do you have any future goals for your business? And what are those? Yeah. Short term, short term or long term? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's funny. Jamie and I were just talking about this. Shortly before, but yeah, so I'm, um, I'm currently in the process of, um, ordering a new machine. Mm -hmm. And this new machine will uh, allow me to print directly onto food. So I can offer like, uh, images so I can print your face on a nice (laughs) medallion. (laughs) And like we could print your face on, on something like that. And, um, or a logo. So my direction is going to be moving towards uh, more corporate orders mm-hmm. and um, gourmet gifts like our gift boxes that yeah. we offer. I feel like those yeah, are good for, like we were talking about earlier, um, bridal showers. Yeah, bridal parties. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> or um, like a grand opening for a business. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and I'm moving more towards like larger orders and mm-hmm. more... Uh, challenging bakes, so like offering new items, so mm-hmm. I can challenge my skills a little better. Yeah, and, uh, that's yeah. good. You gotta do that every now and then. <laughs> yeah, and uh, for me, I've gotten kind of into this custom commissions with art. So I represent a lot of artists, mm-hmm. and I have clients, and um, really exposing people to the opportunity for commission pieces of art. It's mm-hmm. very unique and special. That's one direction I'm really digging into. We also, as I stated, uh, recently added local wine sales. Mm-hmm. When I first opened, I always had this vision of a of a place where people could come and linger and be inspired yeah. around the create the creative. It's a nice little space. It's a cool space. It's, yeah. It is. So um so I wanted to extend that and give people another reason to kind of spend mm-hmm. some time. So that's that's my focus right now. Okay. All right. So these questions are require a little bit more thought. So take your time to answer. But um, if you had the attention of the whole world, everybody is watching, listening to what you were saying for five minutes, what would you say? Oh, a loaded question yeah, here. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would tell everybody to probably take a deep breath. Yeah, honestly. it's Real. probably needed. <laughs> you advice. know, I would probably yeah, just be like, okay, yeah. everyone, take a deep breath. Just calm down for a moment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it kind of like resyncs everybody in the world, assuming, yeah. you know. I like that. Yeah. It's like everyone think at the same time. Yeah. Just, yeah like, take a chill pill for a minute. Just yeah. simmer down. And just have everyone inhale and exhale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would say stay curious. I think, um, 
I think that and, and bring it back to like the people around you and your community, because I do think that you can't be in, in judgment and be curious about somebody at the same time, really. Makes and sense. I just I don't know. There's so there's so many there's so much good right around you. And like mm-hmm. sometimes we get we go back too far. And yeah. I don't know. So breathe. Stay curious. Mm-hmm. I like the breathe. That's good. <laughs> <I get. laughs> yes. um, one more. If you woke up tomorrow without your business, what would be your first steps to recovery if you even chose to recover? Like it was like it never existed. It was just gone. It was, you're like, oh, where is it? Oh, my God. That's crazy. Do you mean <laughs> like recover, just gone? Like, get your business back or recover like as a person, as um, a human? Both. <laughs> yeah. Like really, it's like that would take an emotional to whatever you want. So, both. Yeah. Well, I would probably, want. I'd probably first breathe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. But also, uh, I think I think that would require a lot of mi- mindset shifting. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. like you'd have to really like wrap your mind around um, what the next steps would be. But yeah. I, I I would assume that my business would disappear because my house burned down or like my kitchen <laughs> burned down. So my first steps would be to call my insurance company. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. I I. Other than that, I would probably have a good cry at first yeah, and then I would pick up the pieces and just reevaluate and go mm-hmm. from there. Yeah. I think I'd go for a run. <laughs> I, I am a firm believer that you have to take care of your thinking. And so whatever I had to do, um, but there's no doubt I'd be doing something creative too. So just yeah. recentering. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So after I said deep questions, we're going to have a quick this or that. So just answer as quick as you can. Okay. Cats or dogs? Cats. Spider-Man or Batman? Mm, Batman. Books or movies? Movies. Waffle or curly fries? Waffle. (laughs) Mountains or the beach? The beach. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Chocolate or fruity candy? Absolutely chocolate. (laughs) (laughs) Cake or pie? Definitely cake. (laughs) Low or high rise jeans? Oh, high rise jeans. (laughs) Yeah. 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 For all that cake and pie. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Comedy or horror? Comedy. Okay. Nice, okay. nice, nice. Okay. All right. Cats Jamie? or dogs? I'm going to go with cat. <laughs> Spider-Man or Batman? Spider-Man. Books or movies? Books. Waffle or curly fries? Waffle. Mountains or the beach? <laughs> the beach. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Chocolate or fruity candy? Chocolate. Cake or pie? Pie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lower high-rise jeans. High-rise. Comedy or horror? Definitely comedy. Nice. Okay. Well, thank you, Katie and Jamie, for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. Um, can you tell everyone how they can get in touch with you and check out what you're doing? Uh, yeah. So you guys can go to my website. Uh, it is www.bombabeshc.com. Um, or you can follow us on Instagram. Our handle there is bombabeshc. Yep. Menagerieonmain.com is our website and then on Facebook and Instagram Menagerie on Main is the handle. Very Honestly, nice. do your best to spell that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Try. I dare you. Okay. Google it. It'll come up. Yeah. <laughs> we enjoyed our time with you today and we know our audience will get so much out of hearing your story. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening, listening and we'll see you on the next one. one.